what's up guys? This is the Roveman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode we have a really good opportunity to deal a significant blow to the enemy Dutch forces. Lots of their armies are quite depleted, we have the numerical advantage, as we are supposed to. Um, but let's do some jiggery-pokery with the troops that are coming in, because we're likely to want cavalry and infantry in first more so than cannons especially my Sikhs I definitely want them in probably Sikhs before dervishes dervishes before generals and then, but there's only there's only so much mixing I'm gonna do although I definitely want my Gurkhas up there these are okay right okay cool so we've been intercepted we are going to well get after them but we're gonna have to be very careful about where the, these other units are coming in from our cavalry is going to be quite busy uh, one unit of sepahi are going to be quite busy trying to knock out these individual gun teams so let's get at it this is going to be the beginning of beginning of the end for this dutch pocket now uh, we can keep pushing in from the west Eventually we'll take the city, but then that will give us a front line against the Prussians, and then I suspect it will probably be on. If it isn't, that'd be great, because then I'll just continue to fortify and push up the uh, push across the Americas still. That would be my my preference. In lieu of fighting in Europe, I'd rather consolidate my position in the rest of the world and make it so that resistance is untenable. But we are on the offensive on this one, so we can't afford to hang about. And we can afford to throw armies away. So I may actually deploy my gun teams in pairs, because they're likely to going to need to stay back and pivot to wherever is necessary. So let's create some separate, or two separate infantry formations. Let's back them up with two melee troops apiece. Um, uh, my elephants are going to be shock troops, and my cavalry is going to be careful. Okay, so they are currently coming in behind our front line well but no behind their front line in which case we can deploy more conventionally push up our melee troops unlimber the guns So they've got a large cavalry focus off the bat. Lots of cavalry coming in from the reinforcement point. So we are going to focus on their cavalry with the guns. Killed a few Hindu warriors there. Bombard them. Enemy horse guard artillery. Well, they only had two guns anyway. Get my Sapahi on the flank to see if we can coax them into attacking. But I'm going to want my artillery to try and soften them up. At least for the time being. It appears they are content to advance towards us, and I like that. General's bodyguard, general's bodyguard, general's bodyguard, general's bodyguard, general's bodyguard, general's bodyguard. Lots of general's bodyguards. Oh, good. They cluster together, so my artillery is more effective. I 
Let us pivot one flank forward. Running and running. Drop into squares. The Gurkhas will have their way with them. And then my Gurkhas will clear out this general's bodyguard first. They've wheeled away. Some good fire into the general's bodyguard. Get ready to receive a lot of cavalry. Enemy general has fallen. It's another enemy general fallen. Oh, lances. You can't form square. So push up the Hindu warriors. It's a unit broken. Human form up. Gurkha stayed in safety. They appear reluctant to press home their cavalry attacks. These gunners focus on the sharpshooters. These gunners engage that regiment of horse. And the warriors commit to engage the pikemen. Form squares. Gurkhas again are going to do some work. No, why are you running that way? The pathfinding is completely screwed up there. Bombard the sharpshooters, you men bombard. That unit of conscripts. Go and do warriors. Finally, <laughs> hold square. Another enemy general fallen. Push my infantry up. I thought they were within range, but apparently not. Gurkhas get across to attack the Lancer guards. You men now within range. Push up my Sipahi to go after the regiment of foot. Another general has fallen. Excellent. Begin to engage the cavalry that's advancing. My Gurkha firefighters seem to be working remarkably well. So my Sipahi go for 75th Regiment. Artillery fires annihilating the conscripts. Keep engaging. We should engage the conscripts coming in at range. Cavalry is not really a problem for the most part. So the sharpshooters are engaging my Sapahi. Ridge recovery has been been repulsed. The 75th break.
Form square. There we go, send my pack here in to attack the sharpshooters. Bring in the Gurkhas. New men form square, bring up the dervishes. New men form square, more cavalry coming in. They pull the cavalry back, retarget. You men go after the sharpshooters. You men go after that unit of light cavalry sharpshooters. Keep attacking the cavalry because they're, they're mixed up with us. And withdraw. Engaging the Lancer Guards, then withdraw. So I'm reluctant to advance into where they are attacking or where they could attack from. Because we may get caught out behind our own lines. So let's begin to attack. Well, you need to keep attacking. Oh no, you attack the. Nice pack to charge into the light horse. See, so they are going to just catch our Kizilbashi. These light cavalry sharpshooters are just about to hit our lines. Barely sure these facades are going to go down quite rapidly. be doing okay my gunners are gonna have to counter battery and your warriors withdraw let's begin to narrow our lines One set's going to focus on the heavy horse howitzer they're advancing. One set are going to focus on the heavy horse guard artillery. These are rockets coming in. Let's provoke the general's bodyguard to attack us, though. We killed one crewman of the heavy horse guard artillery. to keep the fire split. Knocked out one howitzer. Militia, engineer, militia. Howitzers are broken, so all of my gunners focus on the heavy horse guard artillery, because they are quite potent gunners. High damage, high rate of fire, high accuracy. They're just pretty good. Howitzers are back on the field. Ooh, knock. Direct hit, knocked out again. Here come the that general's bodyguard unit. Do they still have their general? No, this one's a unit that's already lost. I mean, they've lost two, three, four, five, six commanders, and again, our artillery seems to not like my orders. There's a large concentration of enemy enemy artillery. Let's bring up my Sipahi to try and do some sweeping. 
Are you going after my war elephants? You looks like you are. Bring up the Gurkhas. God, the Gurkhas are so good. Oh, poor fellows. Yeah, my gunners seem determined to not hit the things I want to hit. That's a good hit. Down to one gun. Fortieth Dakili, we'll get a, we'll get some shots on the Lancer guards. When they open, when they fire their volley, or cease fire at will. Go get him, elephants! Up, Sipaki. Heavy horse guard artillery are broken. The lancers are tr <laughs> breaking away from my elephants. So if I pull my elephants back, can you guys fire a will again? Yeah, they're coming back. Get a side volley in onto them. Ceasefire. Oh, let's send cavalry. Let's send. Oh, okay, right. You may end up losing my Sapahi here, but I think it would be worthwhile just to mop up some of these artillery units. They are attempting to respond to us anyway. Yeah, they're freaking out. They're running units back. Oh no, they're redeploying actually. Yeah, we may lose these units. They're wavering. They get shot at from the 47th. Oh, no, they're ready. Oh, they're wavering. Oh, they're, they're gone. They're gonna go. No, they're not. Run down the 23rd. Should run down the 18th. And more artillery coming in. I'm okay, I'm feeling more happy. Right, let's not go after them. Well, then now they've slowed down. Excellent. Let's get back up here to murder down the heavy horse artillery. Okay, I'm feeling more confident now about the direction of the, at least the bulk of the enemy reinforcements. I suppose things to watch out for are when the marines start coming in. Pull the elephants back. Oh, the general is trying to respond to us. So let's charge the general. Again, I think it's worth potentially losing this Sipahi unit. That's right. I'm armoured lance cavalry. Right, we're pushing them back. Come on, let's add another Dutch general's head to our wall. It would be ideal if we get the general's bodyguard plus the rockets. go the Sipahi. Let's 
close the jaws a little bit. Let's get these guns. Focus on the well, the rocket troops out of range. Lots of the gunners are actually out of ammunition. Well, then they they are they run out of artillery. Swiss pikemen push up the Hindu warriors. Push out the dervishes. They're getting lashed with musket volleys. Counter charge. Interesting positioning of the where the reinforcements come in. Our reinforcements coming in over here. can do is keep our advance going with an awareness of the fact that over here is our safe space. Let's advance up our Sikh Musketeers, advance up the Islamic Swordsmen, Netherland Marines, those are good targets. Line infantry guards. Push out the elephants. Just keep firing. You're doing well. Those Islamic swordsmen should do. They, they'll go toe to toe with the with the with the engineers. They are starting at a reduced strength. And the militia's wavering. Come on, men, reload. Swiss pikes are they were routing anyway. So much artillery back here. Fall upon the militia. No, it doesn't matter. Oh, the rockets are coming in. You may actually advance towards the rockets and threaten them. Get the melee infantry advancing. My elephants I'm just not using appropriately. Hindu musketeers fire at will, because you are not firing at will. Oh, they're gonna they're going down. They're going down hard. Take out the militia conscripts. Netherland Marines being fired upon from multiple directions. Line infantry guards are broken, that's pretty sweet. Yeah, they're starting to focus our reinforcements now. Let's get the Gurkhas up on the flank. Hit the conscript in the center. come up here, engage enemy artillery, right, 
That's right, conscripts, you're going down. None of the marines aren't enough to help you. Okay, good. Okay, let's overall try and rejig our line around to the left. Push my melee infantry in. Yeah, my war elephants are exposed. My Gurkha's going to fall in against the flank of the Dutch guard. There go the elephants. As long as they aren't killed to a man, we'll be okay. Okay, let's advance. My Gurkhas are fleeing, but that's likely because they're being fired upon in the combat anyway. Excellent. Let's go after the rockets. Go after the rockets, then the howitzers. It's all good stuff. doesn't help. There you go. Take out the rocket troop. Yes, the Gurkhas are back. Hold position. Get your stamina back. Engage the infantry guards before they get a chance to fire. One of my gun teams to engage the heavy horse guard artillery. These Hindu musketeers can fall in on the enemy flank as well. Netherland Marines are getting back into the action. get you guys to hot foot it back to our lines enemy line infantry guard are going down form line new man cease fire we got coming in marines okay so this is a this is an army that's actually got some decent uh, strength to it okay let's actually form a decent front line let's not leave our seat musketeers out there hanging out to dry Loading to engage the line infantry. Line infantry guard is shattered. New men form up. Gurkhas get behind the line. New men push up front. Form square. Yeah, they're going to catch us out of square. That musketry is going to cause some problems. Let's see if we break square, if the square breaks. It did break. Form square again. Get my gunners 
attacking their elite infantry. Okay, right. Provincial cav broken. Good. You men abandon the square. Get back. She might throw you guys in to attack the general's bodyguard too. Focusing on their artillery, focusing on their marines, and I think that's the right decision. We need to knock out this general's bodyguard pretty rapidly. You may need to about face. Okay, think. Our entire army. Tactical withdrawal. Back to the guns. Back to the guns and we can use their firepower to help even the odds because these are quite elite elite units in good condition. Apologies that you're wavering because you're tired but I'm afraid you will probably be better off nearer our artillery. We just give them really rough orders like this. Ah, my Gurkhas need to get back too. We need to give up some... We need to give up parts of the battlefield. In order to win. So at least they are being they're being attrited by our musket fire as well, just to catch up. You can try and engage the horse artillery solo. You need to try and Yes, hit these formations with shrapnel shot. I'm going to cut shred through them. Shred through them, equal the odds. Although... He these guns may have to stay... Oh no, they can't actually engage the enemy artillery anyway. Which case, keep attacking the enemy formations, particularly the elite ones. Pull these Lamech swordsmen out of the front. Firing. Bring dervishes over here because we, we may have an enemy push. They've knocked out one of our guns. So you're going to go after the marines just off to the side. You're going to switch canister shot. Go after the conscripts within canister range. Blast them! Need to 
be aware of our ammunition state. Well, you may fire a canister as well, because it is just a bit more consistent, I find. I mean, these horse grenadier guards are going to be... Okay, right, let's canister them with one set of artillery. Okay, you might fire at the line infantry guards more across the line. You're going to keep canistering the 43rd. Our seat musketeers are wavering. Don't need to form square. Although you may withdraw. You may withdraw. They've observed that our guns are our strength. We're blasting them with shrapnel shot all the same. forward with my Gurkhas to prevent the guns from being attacked. See if we can break them. We wish they are broken, that's good. Trapped all that marine concentration there. You can withdraw. Bring you guys over, bring you guys over. Just pull back. Can really do a lot more, a lot more of everything, really. You're going to run up like so. These guns use round shot to engage. Enemy units entering the field. Just have my swords, I'm going to charge the grenadiers. You're pulling back. Good. We're attracting some of their cavalry attention at the back of the battle space. Seek Musketeers are going to push forward to support the attack. Okay, let's push forward a little bit here. Shrapnel the Marines, you men. Shrapnel this unit of conscripts. New men form a square. Excellent. Give these kids a rush in order to charge that unit of guns that are exposed. Seek warriors. It's a perfect answer to what's going on in the corner right now. Dervishes hit the light infantry. Coming at us. I need to throw my elephants into the mix. Excellent. Push forward into the Grenadier Guards. Advance towards the enemy. With Sikhs in tow. These kids are actually going after the horse artillery. Keep blasting. These Hindu warriors need to do more as well. 
this artillery with a round shot. Just bombard the middle. Oh, a quick climb. Run, run, run. Howitzers will not let you get away with it for too long. Mit my jumper bodyguard into. Oh, not really sure about charging pikemen, but. Got to hit them with something. That's part of the problem. Okay, let's throw my troops into the mix. This army is now fully committed to battle. Gunners switched to round shot. Pack those conscripts to the rear. Push up the Sikh warriors. That's the gunners killed. Bring up my Kizilbashi. Excellent. Push on into the pikes. Push on to the Swiss Grenadiers, Sikh Musketeers, Storm in. Could really do with some Zumi cavalry. Kill the Swiss Pikes. Push on into the Swiss Grenadiers. So much carnage. So you're going to push up and attack the Swiss Grenadiers. My gunners provide long range fire support. Up. Excellent. Surround the enemy. Although I probably want to just say, right, you run, you run, you run. Low numbers of troops aren't super useful to me now. Bleed the field. So we can try and maintain some sort of momentum. You attack them. Both, all of my guns attack the militia. It may have been too... Too conservative... Still, we got 19 minutes. A lot can happen in 19 minutes. Just maybe not everything we want to happen. It's my. Yeah, you men have routed. Hindu warriors go for the light horse. The line infantry guards there have done a number on us. Cavalry's coming in. You can see it on the map. More enemy reinforcements are also coming in. Could always do with some more two man. shells from long range. Yeah, this is going to become a slug. This is going to become carnage. Okay, let's out blank the, the pikemen. 
you're gonna hit him from the front. My general's fallen. The Pahi go for the line infantry guards. Excellent. General's bodyguard commit. Indie warriors commit. You men get around the rear. Oh, I, I think we're gonna. This is gonna be a bit of a cascade now. We've not got the killing power. My artillery's dying to the unit 24 pounder heavy horse. the marines in the rear storm up there isn't time we ain't got time to stop full strength unit of sapahi that's what we want to see yeah lots of the yeah there's gonna be a lot of carnage here artillery concentrate fire on the, the central block Camel nomads are going to shred the general's bodyguard on that regiment of horse. Okay, let's form up our line. Between the two men, I mean, if this. Oh, they're coming in from behind way far away. Men have to form up back here. Two companies of Swiss pikes. Oh, that's another enemy cavalry unit coming in. Go for the Hindu warriors, please. Hopefully they go for our guns. Form square. General's bodyguard, provincial cavalry. It's going to be quite a good set of circumstances there for us. Map. Are you even in range to start? You are in range to start shrapnel shotting. Everyone else just bombard. You men form square again. You're tearing open the enemy cavalry. Camels, Sikh warriors, and Sipahi. What's not to like? You get in there and help protect the Hussars. Still got enemy coming in. Come on, they're breaking. Okay, form up. Some of, our, and some of the units that were routing are, are leaving the field, so now we're going to start getting a bit more support. You're still out.
we're still doing a number on the enemy. Okay, my camels have continued the charge which we are going to do into the enemy guns. You're coming in from a, a really bad position. to advance. So I'm hoping these units here can bamboozle the enemy artillery for a while to allow more firepower to enter the field. Pikemen are good. for the marines all my artillery switched to round shot and bombard the flank of the enemy line run the pikes in run the dervishes in hoping to cause some morale problems here. Elephants charge in. Kill enough of the marines. Islamic swordsmen hunt down the marines or they probably want the pikes to also back up the marines. push forward. Whoever it is needs to run into position. Pikemen go for the general's bodyguard. These Hindu musketeers charge the marines in the rear. Enemy artillery attack. The Swiss infantry are in the back. Push in. Dervishes go after the line infantry. Actually, no, go after the general's bodyguard as well. Push forward. We've got gaps to fill. Artillery round shot pokes on the marines. Drive forward into the main combat. Kizobashi push forward. Pikemen push that way. Dervishes push the line infantry. You men charge mercenaries and I'm hoping my pikemen can fall upon their flank. You men to charge the light horse. We ain't got time to bleed. Pikemen break off and go after the provision provisional cavalry. Try break through the line. Don't get caught out by attacking this marine unit. They can we can soak them up with artillery fire. You men push into the marine, push into the Swiss infantry there. men push to take out the artillery. Send one unit to attack that enemy force that's still sticking around. It's still coming in. Guns, withdraw the guns immediately. 
we have no interest in artillery. Wow, Swiss pikes up the wazoo. Keep pushing. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. Artillery is... You're going to actually focus on the Swiss Pikes, the artillery all focus on... Well, you're going to go after the Marines, rather. Okay, right. Push up. So, Tupahi hit the Swiss infantry. Two men push up. We may lose our general. Yeah, we did. Push forward. Do not stop. Everyone get up here. Keep attacking. You men hit the line infantry. Pikes go to the back of this line infantry unit. Hindu musketeers form the square. Kizil Bashi open up on them. We may have actually be very tight on time. The guns can cease fire, there are not enough targets. Push up and attack the enemy line infantry. You men against the line infantry. I can't believe. Ooh, this that was tight. Charge up the hill, man. <laughs> Oof. Got to the point where it didn't matter who or what they are. You have to charge people. You have to get into melee combat. You can't just sit there. God, oh, that's a very bloody action. Everyone against the last unit, 70th Regiment of Foot. They killed as many as they could, but it wasn't enough. Oof. But keep on driving forward. They come the camels, that should make them upset. Still holding on, four minutes. There we go. Whew. Right. That was a very bloody battle. Look, look at the battlefield. Look at it. I'm only continuing because I want a... Uh, I want a screenshot of that. I'm fairly sure even though we've... We've continued, we have won. So even though the battle will end in certain amount of time we don't kill all the enemies we still win because uh we've got the end tick like these fellows the last ones remaining engage the marines but yeah like i said We've had the victory timer end screen, even though we've continued when the time runs out, at least I'm... So this doesn't normally happen, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's what happens, even though I have won. So even though I... Even though the battle timer runs out, and ordinarily when the battle timer runs out, 
the defender wins, and I'm not the defender, I should win. Pyrrhic victory! <laughs> well, I don't know. One of my armies got really badly beaten up, I know that. So we lost 6,000, they lost 9,000. That's not... Granted, we did lose a lot of troops, but we've still got nearly 12,000 men remaining, and they have 3,000. 12 pound of foot artillery was the MVP there. Two of them, the Gurkhas, although deployed. Yeah, the 21 guys remaining are incredibly elite, so lots of that experience will go away. Right, that's the first crack. The first squeeze. So what do you require? You got a bug gun team. You require cavalry. This army is just out of it completely. They need to withdraw. Again, they've got lots of bugged gun. They've got two bugged gun teams. Let's send a detachment of infantry up. Oh, that's probably too many. You need five. Oh, no. bang on. Okay, everyone replenish. You need a general. And replenish. Yes, me, Lord. You are sure a cavalry unit, but we're recruiting one. Right, okay, so I'm not gonna deliver I'm not going to immediately attack them again because oh I got a bit of fatigue. But that was a a good squeeze, and we will do another one when these armies here are replenished. These troops are yes. not able to attack the enemy. So they're going to hold. Heroic death, Japri. Yep, that was our guy. Superior general, confident general. Good. These are all quite relatively junior generals, actually. I suppose we've been mass recruiting, but not really. Um, but we haven't really been fighting many actions. Could probably do with getting rid of them. I'll, I'll keep it. And this navy, formerly Dutch, formerly Dutch captain, you men can get into Antwerp. You can't repair yet, but at least I can keep Rotterdam blockaded. Okay, let's see if I can push you guys out of Paris. Okay. You're going to stay near Paris, though. 37,000. So you're on the march. This recruitment is still ongoing. So then... I think that's my money spent. Cool. Yeah, you guys should be replenishing. You are. Because these guys are going to run out a lot of wiggle room. And when they do run out, then we can push up here. And then we've got a... That's going to be a real fight. I'd like to tactically try and grab Athens from the Prussians. But they're going to make us fight it by the looks of it. I don't want my navy to be in tip-top condition. Because then we can blockade the... Uh, passage into the Balkans. I mean, I'm so obsessed with the fact that the AI hates you that I know they do just kind of screw you over. Okay, so in terms of tech, quick lime is on the way, but that's not useful. Not very useful anyway. Our recruitment is continuing. I very much need... More of everything. I don't think the Dutch have the strength to really oppose us in northern Italy. Yeah, you can push us out of Rotterdam if you like. I do not mind. Yeah, we are being attacked. Uh, oh, I, I could intercept, but I'm... Mm, 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 mm. I'm going to decline. 
I'm going to decline because my army is in really bad condition. And then I'm going to retreat. Ah, the Garrison's Transborg are going to Sally. Well, that's fine. We'll definitely fight that. But looking at the timer, we are absolutely out of time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time uh, for some battling around Strasbourg against the Dutch. Cheers, everyone.